Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. Got an announcement for you today coming from us here at What the World Needs is Jesus broadcast. We will be at Wills Creek Assisted Living every Wednesday evening at 1.30 p.m. The address there is 1050 Airport Road West, Fort Payne, Alabama, 35968. We'll be singing and someone will be bringing the word. We'd like to invite anyone who would like to be in service with us to come be in service with us. We ask if you would, please say a prayer for the residents there at the assisted living. If you need more information, you can contact Brother Ricky Phillips at 256-630-1262. Now today's message is coming from Brother Johnny Hayes. The title of his message is Prayer. He will be preaching out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 5 through 18. Then we're going to have a song from Sister Lynn Ledbetter singing Four Days Late. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell, turn on your notification on YouTube. Follow, like, and share us on Facebook. And check us out on Instagram for some inspirational posts. Now let this video be a blessing. Welcome to What the World Needs is Jesus. Yes. Let us pray before we go any further. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, Lord, for what you've allowed us to do, or for allowing us to be here, Father. But one more time, God, that we can celebrate your name, dear Father God. Yes. Yes. Lord, I ask you, Father, for your guidance, O Lord, that you, your words will be my words, O Heavenly yes. Father. My words would be your words, O Lord, that God, that you'd make me and mold me, God, into this clay that you would have me to be shaped in, Father, that I could deliver the word, Father God, that you would have people to hear, Father, we give you the praise, honor, and glory in Christ Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Matthew chapter 6, and we're going to start in the, first, in the fifth verse. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. You know what that means right there? It means a person is pretending to be something yep. that they're not. Come on. Amen. For they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Right. We have preachers today and we have teachers today. We have people that say there's something that they're not. They're pretending to be of Christ. Uh -huh. But no, they're not. They just want to be heard. They just want to make the money. They just want to say that they're something that they're not in God. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Get into your secret place. Yeah. When you yeah. pray to God, don't be standing out here making something out there. Get there and pray to God because he's in secret. And when thou hast shut that door, in other words, close your mind to everything else that's going on around you. Yeah. Get in your secret yeah. place right. or get in your closet where you're by yourself and you pray to the Father because he is in secret. Yeah. You pray. Keep that mind. Put on that helmet of salvation that you are enclosing yourself away from the enemy, away from everything that he's going to throw at you. Because believe me, he is going to throw it at you. And you know, praise God, I thank God that we can pray to our Father which is in heaven and he'll hear our prayers if we pray. But we don't have to pray a long prayer because all we got to do is pray that God, because which seeth in secret, he shall reward thee openly. Yeah. He knows your heart. He knows your innermost being. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. So, oh Lord God, I praise you, Father. Yeah, praise the Lord. People pray sometimes and they don't even know what they're praying about. They pray to all kind of things. They pray to the things they think is God. They pray to things that they think is going to help them. But it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Only God can help you. Those vain repetitions that you're doing, these idols, these things that you're seeking, they're not of God. You've got to seek God. Know God. Know who He is. Know that it's going to bless you. Be not you therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things you have need of before you ask Him. Yes. Why in the world, if 
you're a Christian, why are you doubting what God's telling you? Right. When you pray, ask Him. He said that's all you have to do is ask Him, believing and knowing. Yes. With a grain of mustard seed, have faith that God's going to answer your prayer. And when He does answer your prayer, quit doubting it. Right. Quit doubting it. So many doubt God's prayer, even knowing that they've been healed. Cancer has left their body. Yeah, Sickness has left their yeah. body. But they doubt it. They go back, well, oh, I just feel so bad in my body. No, that's the devil telling you you feel bad in your right. body. Right. Quit doubting what God's told you. Keep praying. Asking God to deliver you from all these things. Yeah. Know that God's going to because he is. After this manner, I want you to listen to this. After this manner, therefore pray you. Our Father, meaning God in heaven, uh -huh. our Father, yes. which are in heaven. He's in heaven. Yep. The next word, hallowed, means holy is his name. Holy be thy name. We got to reference God as being holy. He is holy. He cannot be near any kind of sin. Right. When you pray, you can't get through him if you've got sin in your heart because the two don't mix. Right. When you pray, you ask for forgiveness. Yes, yes. You pray to a holy God. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come because it is. We, what we're supposed to pray for is for His kingdom to come. When Jesus came to this earth, He came here to establish a kingdom. The kingdom did come. We're part of that kingdom if we know the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. We are part of that kingdom. That thy will be done in earth. That's knowing that God's will is going to be done in our life just like it is in heaven because the angels work to make sure that His will is done. We're workers for Christ. Yes. His will. We're to work His will. We're to go out and spread the gospel to all people, to all generations, to teach our children, to spread it in the church, to spread it out of the church. Mm -hmm that His will would be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And I'm not speaking about food, folks. I'm speaking, this is the daily bread. That's right. The Word is the bread of life. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And I'm not talking about getting rid of your debts. Sure, you've got to pay for them. You need to get rid of those debts, but that's an earthly thing. I'm speaking of spiritual debt. You know what that is? Forgiveness. Yes, praise the Lord. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lord, forgive me for what I've done. Lord, forgive me for what I've said to somebody. Yeah, praise the Lord. Lord, forgive me for how I acted towards somebody. Uh -huh. Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. You know what that's called? That's called humbling yourself before yes, God. Yes, that's sir. called repentance. But you know what it says on down? As we forgive our debtors. Who are our debtors? That's the people that you don't like. That's the people that's done something against you. That's the person or the thing that you're having a problem with. That's why you can't get your prayer through. That's why you can't get through to God because you're not forgiven. Because you're not getting rid of you. Right. We've got to get rid of us. We've got to be in God and through God and with God. Yeah. Walking yeah. daily in His life and in his path and I, when I say it in his life we got to be like God right. because he's in us he lives in us he dwells in us we're supposed to be a temple folks 
Praise the Lord. We got when we clean this temple out, we swept it out, we're supposed to keep it that way. We're supposed to have God indwelling in us. Right. And we're supposed to have a forgiven heart. We're supposed to have a forgiven spirit about us. Because if we can't forgive them, God ain't gonna forgive us. Right. That's exactly right. There's a parable in the Bible. And it simply says that this man owed his master a lot of money. Yep. So the master decided he was going to collect the money from him. But he couldn't, he couldn't pay the debt. Yep. The master told him he was going to cast him into prison, but he said, oh no, please. He was begging the master, right. please don't right. cast him in prison. And what that's saying is, you owe God a big debt, yeah. but your debt's been paid. But let me Thank tell you, you what. He forgave him, and when Christ forgave you, he forgave all of your sins. Amen. But I'm going to tell you what happened to that man. He decided that he was going to go out to anybody that owed him, but he was vile. He was ruthless. He was mean. Right. He wasn't forgiven. That's right. So what did the master do? He cast him in prison yep. because he didn't forgive him. And you know what? With your unbelief and your unforgiveness, you're going to prison. You're going to hell. Forgive your debtors. Forgive those that's trespassed against you. It's not hard to do. The only thing hard about it is you not allowing God to live in you. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God's not going to lead you into temptation. The temptation that you're going to have is what the devil's putting in your mind. Oh, I saw this pretty woman. There you go with lust. Oh, I need money. There you go, mammon. You're allowing that to get into your house. I need a new car. Pray that I get a new car. You're not praying to God for spiritual things. Sure, we need, we have needs. We ask God for anything we need. He said He'd give it to us. Yeah. But don't put that before you put God. Right, right, exactly. Oh, I just yeah. can't do without this or do without that. Sure, you can. We got to put that aside. You say, well, somebody's talking about me. I just can't forget that. My goodness. You're just saving somebody else from being talked about. Right, the light to go in one ear and out the other. It ain't a hurting. The words might hurt you a little bit. But it only stings for a while. It's just like a bee sting unless you're bad allergic to him. And that's what makes the devil rile up in you because you're allergic to words. Yep. Get them words out of you. Let the Lord handle them words. For thine is the kingdom, listen, praise God. For thine is the kingdom. Folks, it's God's kingdom. It's not our kingdom. And the power, God has all power. He has all glory forever. Folks, when this Bible was wrote, God had a plan for you and I. For a plan from beginning to a plan to the end, yeah. and it's going to happen the way That's because right. it's His will. Yeah. You may not realize it, but you are a part of His will, and that will is going to be accomplished. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your Father, your heavenly Father, will also forgive you. Think about that for a minute. Forgive people. God will forgive you, your heavenly Father. And folks, if you don't know Christ and you've never known Christ, I invite you to come to know yes, Christ sir. because yes, he loves you with an ever-loving love. And it's all through eternity, folks. It's not just for today or tomorrow. Right. It's for all eternity. Yes, preaching right. Folks, in Prayer is just not praying. Prayer is also fasting. Moreover, when you fast, be not like the hypocrite. And again, that's a pretender. 
Somebody pretending that there's something that they're not. What are you? Are you a hypocrite? Are you a pretender? Come on. You love God? Well, do what God's telling you to do. Exactly. Amen. Quit pretending you're a Christian and become one. Because when God calls you, He calls you. He has got to call you. I can't call you. I can give you the word. Amen. And if I don't preach the word the way God's given it to me, I'm standing before Him in judgment one day, and I want to be standing before Him, and He's going to say, Welcome home, good and faithful servant. I don't want to be the one that's cast aside. And he's going to judge me for what I told you. And if I'm not telling you the truth, oh, woe is me. When you fast, be not like the hypocrites of a sad countenance. A lot of people like for you to know that they're fasting. They want you to know that they've been doing that, that food. Oh, I've been on a fast now for three or four days. Folks, you ain't accomplishing nothing but your own self-pity. There you go. There you go. When you fast, you fast in God's will, in God's time. Yes. They disfigure their face. Oh, my Lord. Right. Right. That disfiguration, I can just imagine if you had makeup on and you were fasting, and you go through all this stuff. I pray God melts that makeup off your face. <laughs> because I'd rather see the person underneath that like God does. God don't want you pretending. He wants no, you to be don't. who you are. Get that stuff off of your face. And I'm not speaking about your makeup you put on. I'm speaking out quit being a pity party. Right. When you fast, fast to God. Quit showing it off to everybody. You're supposed to be in God's will. You know, a sound countenance. For they disfigure their faces. Oh. And hear your stomach growling somewhere. When you're in a true fast, your stomach ain't going to growl that they may appear unto men to fast. Quit putting on a show. Quit getting out there trying to be something you're not. Be a Christian. Be who God called you to be. Be Christ-like. Walk with God. Don't be bragging about what you've done or what you're going to do or where you've been or where you're going. Because they're all, you're only going where God wants you to go. Right, exactly. Quit showing off in front of people. I've got this. I've got that. When that's why you ain't getting your prayers through. Come on, Amen. You're putting everything else there instead of God. Right. But thou, when thou fastest, listen. Anoint your head. Uh-huh. Wash your face. Go in your bathroom and anoint your head. Wash your face up. Get yourself ready before God. Why do we use the word anoint? You know, it talks a lot of times about the sheep. Well, the sheep, the shepherd, he'd put a, he would anoint their heads. What that done was it'd keep all the lice and whatever out in these chewing mites and these bugs that would attack them and so on, etc. To keep them away from them, to keep them healthy. That's what that's for, to keep the devil out of your mind. That you can come before God in prayer. And when you come before Him in fasting and thanksgiving, you're not going to have to worry about all of that because you're doing it the way God wants you to do it. Yes, yes. Anoint yourself. Get all that mess out of your head. Right. Know that God's there waiting to receive your prayer mm-hmm. because He is. He will. Yes. He said He would. I don't have any doubt about it. Right. Amen. When you're doubting God, 
You're not going to get a prior through. And he's not going to hear you if you're a sinner. Only time he's going to sin when you come into actual repentance. Amen. Quit pretending right. when you at church and the only reason you're going to church is to be seen and then you're out the rest of the week living like hell itself. Mm -hmm. You are not living a godly life and you're not getting a prior through. You have got to live what God says for you to live. Yes, sir. Not what yes, sir. I tell you to live. Anybody else, open this book. Anoint yourself with Amen. it. Yes. Fill your belly up with the bread of oh, life. Yes. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto the Father which is in secret. Folks, he's in there. You got to connect with him. Yes. You have got to know that you know that you know who the Father is because He'll reward you. Yeah, he He'll bless you. You don't have to worry about things. If you pay your tithes, if you do what God tells you to do, if you believe in God, you believe in the Holy Spirit, and you know that He's entered into your heart and your life, and you know every day before you go to bed that you repent daily, that you pray to God yeah, daily, oh God. seeking God yeah, and man. knowing God yeah. that He's in your life, you don't have a single thing to worry about in this, in this life except you. Praise the Lord, that's right. Because God is not going to allow harm to come to you in any form or fashion unless it's His will that your life be taken that day. Right. And you know what? If your life is taken that day, you're going to heaven. You're going to walk slap out of that injury. You're going to leave behind pain, but have you left behind a message to those that are left behind on this earth that you loved them, that you love Jesus, yes. that you love the Almighty Father, and that you're going to be with the Father. Yes. And when Praise that the happens, they ain't got a thing to worry about. I want them to have a party and they're saying, I know that man and where he went. Poof! Come on. I'm a going to the Lord. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Woo. I love my father. Yes. My yes. father which is in heaven. Praise oh, I love my earthly father too, but he's not like my father in heaven. That's right. That's my, earth, my heavenly father. Oh, that's the father that loves me. Yes. That's the one that lives in me. That's the one that's there. That's the one that guides me. That's the one that's with me and my family. That's the one that's with my friends. That's the ones that's in my oh, church. Yeah. Oh, Amen. praise God, Amen. he's there. He loves you. <laughs> he wants you to know that you've been loved. Yes. Accept his love. Yes. Don't turn away from his love. If you turn away, you're going to hell. I don't want you going there. No, sir. I want you to be able to pray, right. to know that God loves you. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, yes. that whosoever believeth in Him should not Lord, perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. That's what you're promised. Pray, when Christian. Yes. Pray for these people. Don't put them down. It don't matter what they look like when they come into church. I wouldn't care if the stinking, the smelling, this whatever person come in and sat down beside me. I love him. Yes. I'm going to hug him. Yes. I'm going to let them know. I'm going to shake their hand. Amen. It don't matter who they are, what they've done. They're trying to get somewhere. They're trying to get to God. Yeah. They're trying to know God. Help them to know God. Right. Show them that love. Show them oh, that compassion. Yes, sir. Pray for them. Praise the Lord. That's what we're supposed to do. Pray for them. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord loves us. But you've got to love Him. You've got to let Him know that you love Him. Watch how you pray. Watch how you do. Your actions... Speak louder than your words. The way you live outside of church, that's showing somebody either you are a pretender 
exactly right. or you're a prior warrior. That's exactly right. So what are you? And I pray that you love Jesus yes. because I love you. Amen. <laughs> came to Jesus please come fast Lazarus is sick and without your help he will not last Mary and Martha watched their brother die waited for Jesus he did not come they wondered why Death watch was over Buried four days Somebody said He'll soon be here The Lord's on his way Martha ran to him And then Lord, if you had been here, you could have killed me and still be alive. But you're four days late, and no hope is gone. Lord, we don't understand why you waited so long, but his way is not yours or mine. Isn't it great? He's four days late. He's still on time. Jesus said, Martha, show me the grave. But she said, Lord, you don't understand. He's been there four Gravestones roll back Then Jesus cried Lazarus come forth And somebody said He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! You may be fighting A battle of fear Come on. <laughs> Cry to the Lord, I need you now. Yes. Has not appeared. Come on. Friend, don't be discouraged. Yes. He's still the same. Yes. He'll soon be here. He'll roll back the stone. And he'll call out your name. Yes. When he's four days. say we appreciate you for watching today i hope something was said uh maybe help you out in your daily walk with jesus amen or help you out with your daily walk in the world uh, uh, amen that might change your mind from being lost to being saved amen glory to be to god if you got a prayer request today you can send a private message to facebook.com forward slash what the world needs is jesus you can call or text brother ricky phillips 256-630-1262 Brother Kenneth Crane at 256-557-2858 or Brother Harold O'Neill at 256-475-5854.
You can also email us at what the world needs is Jesus TV at gmail.com. And like I say, we appreciate you today and we thank you for tuning in. Until our next broadcast, may God richly bless you. Amen.